hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to use the lock foot feature in remo simple here today i'm going to show how to use for auto rank and also mesamo carter it is same process for das verify so let's get started here first i'm going to start with the retargeting part okay for this character if i go to post mode and i rotate the hands you can see they are all in fk okay okay so after baking we can just select our target rig or the source rig and delete the rig because we don't need it and now let's see how we can fit the foot sliding uh clipping to the ground and slide okay so let's go to the animation tab here and scroll down here go to the foot lock and let's open it so i'll open to post mode and now this one is in fk you can see the leg is in fk you cannot move this bone you see you cannot move you can only rotate it so what you can do is just activate the foot lock before you can snap it to our ik you need to deactivate so we have deactivate and you have activate so let me activate it so click activate and it will tell you auto to process rig uh auto repro rig process successfully let's go to post mode again and now the leg is still in what fk but i can move this bone and you can see it is stretching it has add a constraint that help you to move the fold like IK so it's very cool so let's see how we can lock the foot as you can see here the foot is supposed not to move from frame 1 to 10 okay so i'll go to frame 1 and click apply foot lock and i want to lock it from frame 1 to maybe frame 10 okay i don't want the foot to move from frame 1 to frame 10 i can go here and use if you choose use current frame that means it will use the current frame at the start to the end frame okay or you can just uncheck this one and type the start frame by yourself so if i choose this and i want the end frame to frame 10 i'll type 10 here and click on okay and now we can see the foot will not move from frame 1 to 10 and from 10 going and the foot slide starts moving let's do the same for the right foot also i don't want to you can see it's just wriggling on the floor okay so i'm going to lock it from frame 1 to 11 so i'll go here and i'll type 1 here okay and i'll make it end on 11. here you can see it will lock on that position and it will start moving okay so here if you check here the foot land on the ground on frame uh, on frame 25 let's say here it's fully on the ground so what i'm going to do is i'll use auto key and i'll prevent it from clipping to the ground so here i'll move one frame and then reposition it move one frame reposition it up move one frame and reposition it okay so here and um, okay so now let's reposition it again so right now i want to lock it from maybe frame 30 okay i think frame 30 is cool so i want to lock it from frame 30 to maybe um from where he starts he starts to move dragging the leg back of me from frame 30 very going okay so i'm going to lock it from frame 30 to frame um to frame 43 okay so i'll click here and i want to lock it from frame 30 to 43 okay so 43 and i'll click on apply and now let's see so here it will stay on the ground it will move so it's reached frame 43 and you see it starts moving okay so now let's preview what we have good so here it's land on here and now we can see it's still sliding so that means we need to lock it from frame 53 okay from 53 to the last frame which is 73 okay so 53 i'm going to type 53 here to 73 okay and click ok and now let's preview and now it's locked okay you can just position it once you position it 
on the frame you want to start position it well and it will take that frame and lock it on that position so the frame will say it should end so now we are we have end uh we have end with the right foot let's focus on the left foot Okay, so here, if you check the difference, you can see how this one is clipping to the ground and how this one is well planted on the ground. So the foot lock is very good if to lock the cutter foot on the ground. You can see this one is clipping to uh, while this one is stationary on the ground. And you can see what? And it's very, very good. Example again is like chicken dance. I'm going to load that animation. Chicken dance. Okay, so this is a chicken dance animation. Um, I'm going to first frame and load it. You can see how the leg is working here. So just select the foot, select the bone, go to post mode, and here I'll position out on the first frame. And I'll do the same for this one and make it on the ground. I'm going to lock it from frame one from the frame I am to the last frame. And as you can see, the end frame is 115. Okay, so I'll lock it from the current frame to 115. Lock. And I'm going to do the same for this one. So, and now you can see, oh, I didn't do it for this one. This one is locked. Uh, here let me go and do it again no so like this one and apply now you can see it has lock okay. and the feet is not sliding again 